Now, the officials are ready. The fighters are in the ring, and they are ready. So, for the thousands in attendance, and the millions watching around the world, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! Alright guys, well let's get right into it. Kenshiro Taraji once again lived up to his amazing boy moniker. The two-time and reigning lineal WBA WBC Junior Flyweight Champion earned his fourth consecutive knockout, this one in the ninth round stoppage of former two-division titleist Heki Budler. A barrage of punches left Butler defenseless going against the ropes as referee Lupe Garcia stopped the contest at 2 minutes 19 seconds of round 9 Monday at Ariaki Arena in Tokyo. Butler jumped out to a strong opening round as he and noted trainer Colin Nathan tried to exploit Taraji's normally slow start nature. The visiting former two division titleist found an early home for his right hand, which Taraji took well and remained committed to his crisp jab in their Amazon Prime video ESPN Plus main event. Terrific two way action ensued in round two. Taraji settled into a steady offense groove and put together combinations. A right hand down the middle snapped back the head of Butler, who came with a straight right of his own. Taraji landed left hooks and the stab jab downstairs while Butler did his best to keep pace and land power shots of his own. Kyoto's Taraji committed to a body attack, which saw Butler show the first signs of slowing down in round three. A wind-up right hand by Taraji landed just under Butler's tight guard. Butler kept his composure no matter the scenario or whatever Taraji threatened to pull away. The 35-year-old from Johannesburg did his best to make things uncomfortable for the defending champ, who was cut over the right eyebrow from a clash of heads earlier in round 5. Taraji resumed action and threw a steady jab, but was forced to rely on his chin as Butler landed an overhand right. Taraji set traps in round six. Butler walked straight forward after being urged to avoid getting caught in the pocket. Taraji used his opponent's aggression to his own advantage as he stepped back, planted his feet, and landed clean one-two combinations upstairs. Butler shook off the jab to land a counter right hand upstairs in round seven. Taraji readjusted and went back to the stick to set up his power shots. Butler continued to press forward and landed a right hand during an exchange. Taraji enjoyed far greater success in round 8. Butler relied more on movement as Taraji consistently landed his jab and right hand upstairs. Both boxers all but abandoned their early commitment to a body attack, though Butler ended the round with an attempted right and a left hook downstairs. Any hope for Butler to turn the tide was immediately erased in the faithful round 9. Taraji went on the attack and Butler was no longer able to defend himself. A right hand for Taraji crashed home against his challenger before the referee jumped in to rescue Butler from additional punishment. Taraji improved to 22 wins, 1 loss, 14 by way of knockout, and is now 13 wins, 1 loss, 9 knockouts in major title fights spanning 2 reigns. The win was his 4th in a row since he regained his WBC title in a revenge-fueled 3rd round knockout of countryman Yabuki last summer. The feat avenged his lone career defeat, a 10th round stoppage in their September 2021 Fight of the Year level slugfest. Butler fell to 35-5 and five in a failed bid to become a three-time titleist spanning two weight divisions. All right, guys. Well, what did you think about Taraji's performance? Solid performance. Solid performance. I mean, he was getting uh, hit in the early rounds, but ultimately, he pulled through with a great performance, spectacular performance. Um, Butler was hurt. Butler was really hurt. So, uh, guys, what do you think about Taraji's performance and who do you want to see him fight next? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and also share the vid. We appreciate all the love and support. Take care.